So here we go then, heat number three, sponsored by the Phillips family Exeter. We have got Dan Jilks off the inside here in blue. We've got Lewis Kerr off of gate two in white. Gate three is Ben Barker in red. And Cameron Heaps is off the outside in yellow. So here we go then, heat number three is at the tapes. So tapes up, away they go, it's fairly even, but from the inside, Dan Jilks, he shuffles Louis Kerr over. That's allowed up the inside, that's allowed Ben Barker up the inside, it's very close going into Ben 3. So Dan Jilks is out in front and Ben Barker has moved him over, it's got very tight, he's hit the fence on the back straight. Louis Kerr has hit the fence, it gets very close to these cheaters. Yeah. Real drama here. Louis Kerr's not happy with that at all, he was appealing to the referee, he thought Ben Barker put him in the fence there. Barker certainly didn't leave him a lot of room going down that back straight, but the referee hasn't stopped the race. I'm sure Peter Schroep, the manager, will be having words after this race, but as it stands, the Gladiators are heading for 5-1. Yeah, that was a very determined move from Ben Barker coming up the inside of Louis Kerr. Really did get very close. It's a 5-1, it's blue, red, white, but I would suggest that Louis Kerr is not going to be very happy as he is hitting his clutch there, trying to get the thing on. The warm, the warm down. He's not happy with him at all. Ben Barker just acknowledging him, but let's hope there's no drama when we get to the pit gate. Louis Kerr heading back around. Ben Barker heading round to take the applause. So here we go then. Heat three, the result was a win in blue for Dan Jilks. Three points to him, two points to Ben Barker in red, one point to Louis Kerr in white, no score to Cameron Heaps in yellow. It's a 5-1 to the Gladiators, which means we are back all square, 9-0.